Yeah, so for White, it's, it's all consistency. He puts some really good things on film, some good things at practice, and it's just piecing it together, successful plays, positive plays over and over again. Um, he's progressing his long arm the way he stops to run, but for him, it's just every day, every practice, consistency over and over. Yeah, the thing about, about Johnny is he's a professional and he understands his strengths, his weaknesses. He understands maybe, you know, where he was a couple years ago as to where he is now and how he can use that to his advantage. Um, you know, you talk to guys around the league and that was one of the first things I did when I heard we were signing him. I called guys, you know, I had the opportunity to line up against John when I was at Purdue as a GA and he was at Ohio State. So um, very well respected, but at the end of the day, he knows what he has to do to be successful for us. Yeah, it's a it's a hot competition, and those guys understand that, and they know that. And you know, the thing I always preach to them is there can't be a, a huge drop off. Like when when we rotate guys, like we have to have the same energy, same production, same play style, and that's what um, I preach every day. And they understand that, and they know they're hunting for that. Do you guys like to have more than three action You talk about that at this point in camp. Yeah, it's a it's a numbers deal that always will be involved with the the general manager and the head coach, you know, what we need to win the game and to, to be successful in the game. So at the end of the day, we have as many guys ready as need be, and they'll tell us you know, what we're going to have. What's it been like watching Shane replacing this year, stepping into Yeah, well, working along with Shane for the last couple years, um, think extremely high, highly of him. He's very smart, um, very passionate about the game. It's a... Uh, it's really cool to see him in front of the guys, and uh, the guys respect him. Uh, he's got some awesome ideas, but at the end of the day, he cares about the team, cares about the players, and you can feel that. I think he connects with the players extremely well. He understands each and everybody. He spends a lot of time with each and everybody, and once again, he's just he's very smart. He's intelligent. He knows what we got to do to win games and how to mold it all together. Yeah, he's he's long. He's uh, you know he's got pop to him. The thing that he needs to just work on is just molding into an NFL player. You know, we're we're seeing different types of tackles, different types of run game, different types of things that he's seen in college. So it's just putting that together mentally, and at the end of the day, just attacking. Like, and, and I told this um, a little bit earlier is he's just got to understand he overthinks things a little bit and just go play the game, go play the game, and he'll be fine. A Absolutely, especially the different, you know, you look at, you turn on a college game, it's completely uh, different than the NFL game, but at the end of the day, it's pads on pads and, and you got to go be able to do your job. I know it wasn't your, your deal last year. When you look back at you were assessing things to put things together for this year, Harold dropped into coverage a, a lot um, as, your, as your best pass rusher. Do you expect as much this year and what's the rationale when he does drop? Yeah, it's a... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll do whatever the head coach and defense coordinator asks us to do. But, you know, if you look around the league, like if you want to if you want to pressure and do some things, some guys have to drop. And it's just it's part of the game. And, you know, those guys embrace that role when we ask them to do it. And they're going to be the best at what we ask them to do. And um, once again, it's going to come down to the call. And that's the head coach and the, the defensive coordinator's decision. Uh, it's extremely important and you know for Bud to be on the field yesterday it's one thing to sit in a Zoom meeting it's one thing to sit in a, in a position meeting it's a different thing to be on the field and actually go through the communication understand who the other guy is that you're working with as well as the D-line you know getting to know the defensive line getting to know your teammates in general so being on the field is a whole different animal and um, excited that he was able to do that because it's just it's a part of the growing process. Yeah, so all I told Harold was I, I took his fastball away. You know, he's a speed dip guy. I think everyone that watches his film uh, throughout the league 
realizes he's a speed dip guy, so the conversation with him was, you can't use that in camp. You got to find something else, make some new mistakes, learn some other moves, try them, see if they work, and then kind of create that second and third pitch.